currently on the driveway, one of the coolest whips of the year, the Jeep Gladiator, and it is essentially a Jeep Bucky. The 3.5 liter V6 engine, so you know it's kind of something nuts. No feature number, whatever. Carjacking! No, someone is not starting up my car. I've remote started. I know a lot of cars do this kind of thing with apps and so on, but I like the robust nature of this key. It looks like a tiny jerry can, and just the bit, if you double click that, start up the car, get it warm, heat up the seats, especially after a bike ride or before a bike ride when it's freezing. You just want to get to a car with a nice warm everything. Climb in, press a button and move off. I like that. So for me, there are two standout features on this Jeep Gladiator that are sort of like really quirky and unique. One is a portable speaker. Because who doesn't need a portable speaker in their vehicle? So it's back here. Give me one sec. So it's here. So here's the speaker. And then you just pull on that. And then here's the speaker for, you know, if you pull up at the beach or a bra and you need some tunes or a true crime podcast or maybe even just, you know, an impromptu dance or... I'm such a dork. <laughs> come over here, come over here. So I haven't tried this yet, but another cool feature. So what we've got here is, I've never done this before, but I believe it's the whole toolbox that comes along with it and it's hidden in the seat. So that's clearly the box says Jeep on the lid. Very cool. Uh, let's see the tools. Right. That's the tool set. With this, you could pretty much pitter on things. You could, you could, you could turn that thing over there. I assume you could uh, just think of the potential. Just think of the potential. You could add. I mean, it takes up that much space. You could add a whole bunch more tools in here. Limitless potential. Jeep getting it done. So another quirky little feature about the Jeep Gladiator is that. Do you want to go convertible driving? Yeah! Remove these two panels here by accessing clips of sorts and you just put it in this little baggie over here. This little bag, this little bag, this little bag over here and then you, you know, just stow it away somewhere, somewhere out of sight and then you can do some convertible roofless topless driving and by topless I mean this and then you but but maybe check the weather because it's not the easiest of processes to put it back on again you don't want to be caught in the rain when it's off so I'm going to insert b-roll right here there you go I did say cool and unusual you know uh, not necessarily best practice, but unusual. So typically I want to put my bicycle in here, a fridge, I don't know what I'll put in here, but typically you've got your roller shutter. Some cars do it well with a, a button that you press. Um, this one employs the backpack style of doing things. And what I mean is a little tag over here, and then you, you flip it over, need more space, yeah, you just flip it over again and then you tie it up over here like a carryable backpack. You just go click and then you walk around over here. Which I'm doing, I'm showing you now how that's done. And then yeah, there you go. That's that's there, that's on there now. And then you can, I mean, I guess you could fill this up with water and have a little jacuzzi. Carry it on your back. I don't know, it's pretty cool and unusual. And that's it, that's five cool and clearly unusual things that you can do with the new Jeep Gladiator. Then you can sort of just, you know, 